Hello and good evening, active traders. This is Ken Calhoun, president of Trade Mastery and Day Trading University, the sole founder and creator of my network of websites. It's great to see so many of you here tonight for our special half hour preview event. I promise it will be useful. I want to give you some actionable intel or some ideas for how to capitalize potentially on the reaction to the upcoming presidential election coming up November 8th. We've got a big move on the horizon. Are you ready to trade it? As always, no profitability or performance claims are being made. Uh, all information is for educational use only. By watching this, you hereby agree not to make actual trades. I'm not making advice or recommendations about what to buy, sell, or hold. It's all for paper trading and educational slash information use only. You may have seen me in Stocks and Commodities Magazine. You may have seen me at The Money Show, which is always great to be a speaker uh, for those events. Our preview event tonight is designed to familiarize you with what we're going to cover in the upcoming premium event that's a week from tonight. It's an hour and a half long, and it's priced at the budget price. Normally, I do these at the early bird would be 147 or 150 or whatnot, but I'm dropping it all the way down to 97. So if you're not yet registered, now would be a good time because the registration is only good through Wednesday because i got to close off registrations in less than a week. Uh, because I need to have time to email everybody with your login information and all that. So anyway, presidential profits now enrolling. The main thing that I want you to get out of tonight is a preview of the types of strategies with live real market charts today uh, from today's sectors and hottest stocks of what kind of things you want to consider putting in a personal trading plan to help you benefit from or capitalize on the reaction to the presidential election results, which will be coming out November 9th. So I'm doing it the Thursday before the Tuesday big election. So you got the weekend to put together a trading plan and then a few days. So I want you to be prepared for the sell-off for the rally. Okay, this is the first time I've done this specific topic. I will do this every four years only. So it's once in a blue moon and it's my best thinking on how to do this. And it will only be available between now and next Wednesday. We'll not be offering this for sale. So it's rare for me to do that because I have to make good use of my time. And normally I only do courses that I can offer for sale for years and years. This is a one-off special circumstance situation topic. So for that reason, I wanted to give you a heads up on what to look for. So the November 8th election will be moving the markets. And we're going to jump into charts in just a second, I promise. But first, a couple of quick slides here. November 8th, I want to establish my point and what this is all about so it's clear. The November 8th election will move the markets. Up or down, it's a crapshoot. It's anybody's guess. I think it's more likely to go down as do most of you who voted here. Uh, but, you know, we don't know. We want to have a game plan in place, though, right? My question is, do you have a specific trading plan yet? How many of you, show of hands, do have a trading plan designed specifically Kind of like after a jobs report or triple witching Friday or an FOMC release, there's going to be some market movement. Do you have a game plan? How many of you have a specific trading plan yet? I hear crickets chirping. Listen, there they are. Nobody has a trading plan, really? I kill myself. I have fun with this. Anyway, bada bing. So what are you going to do? Are you going to just sit there and watch the market rally or sell off? I think sell off, but whichever way, are you ready for it? Or are you just going to watch it? What's going to happen? How much money are you going to make or lose if you're unprepared trading afternoon on November 8th? That's kind of the, the question of the day, right? You know, the question that's going to face us between now and the balance of the tail end of the year is you got to think about the money and what you're going to do with the markets once we get an election. So we've got good news and we've got some bad news. I'll cover that in just a couple of minutes. But first, enough PowerPoints. Let's take a look at the dang markets and what the heck's going on. Well, with our S&P, markets have been down and choppy, right? We've seen the market kind of chop around all August. It didn't go anywhere. And then they said, nah, stick a fork in it to heck with it. We're going to slowly grind this puppy down. So we've got a selling channel on the S&P. OK, and, you know, whether whichever party I will mention names wins, we'll either get a, you know, a big sell off or we'll get a big rally. It's very unlikely that the markets will just go sideways. I think we're all kind of agreed on that point. It's unlikely that the biggest presidential election in eight years is going to be a non-event for the market. 
uh, you're starting to see institutional money flow go in and out of various sectors and industry groups, whether that's oil, gold, banking, finance, semiconductors, biotech, airlines have been hot lately, like United, American, Delta, Southwest, and, and the like. Uh, the point is the market's likely to move one way or the other after the elections. You should have some kind of a game plan based on where it moves for how you're going to trade. Do what I call an if-then conditional approach. I got that out of my background as a quality engineer. We use if-then conditionals, kind of like a flow chart. Look at this is like a big diamond point. This is like a really significant decision point or diamond point on a flow chart. Uh, who's going to get voted into office? Personally, I'm not very optimistic about the future of the country, and I think the U.S. is going to hell in a handbasket sooner rather than later. And I have no idea why the stock market's been going up. I think the stock market should have been selling off the last couple of years, but hey. What do I know? I'm just a professional. All I do is trade price action. And so that's what the focus of your presidential profits event next week is going to be, is on price action trigger points to use in the strongest sectors and ETFs. Okay, so for example, the semiconductor sector has been a really nice stellar standout. That's the Philly semi uh, sector, the SOX, right? It's been on a run all year long. From January, it's just been a hit and run all the way up, right? It's been a nice strong sector despite a slower moving S&P. Banking sector has been especially strong. And if you look at it, kind of zoom in on the three month, you can see the banking sector and the semiconductor sector have been strong. And that's kind of what you need to know as just a quick tip of the iceberg or a taste of the kind of uh, techniques and tools that we'll be covering in the main event. But the, the thing is, okay, so semis are up. Does that mean, you know, do I want to trade NVIDIA? Do I want to trade KLA Tencore? Do I want to trade, you know, applied materials? I'm not going to go through all the semiconductor sectors, but the point is there should be a game plan in place based on the star stocks or the stellar stocks within the lead sectors. You know, or for example, you know, really great charts like interactive gaming, my favorite chart that I've been calling long for my swing scans members the last few weeks. It's been on a tear up. It's gone from, you know, 20 to 29, starting to drop a little bit, but it's still a nice uptrend, right? Or things that were broken that had been in a big uptrend like LIT, but then dropped and kind of chopped and now it's losing the 50 SMA support. The point is, there's going to be outlier stocks that benefit from the results of the elections. You need to know what they are. There's going to be outlier sectors. You know, as of now, there's, you know, we have banking and semis, but there are other sectors that are even better that I'll be revealing next week that you want to be aware of and be able to, being able to develop a specific metric uh, trading plan with specific long and short or buy and sell triggers. So, that's one of the things that I'm going to do is give you specific like two resistance and two support triggers to use outside of the current range of not only the S&P, that's relatively easy to do. What's What takes more expertise and skill is what I'm an expert at is what I want to do is give you specific sector breakout triggers to consider using as along with the specific uh, instruments that make sense, right? Some of the charts that are especially good to work with what are, say, I will have uh, at least a couple dozen, maybe 20 or 24. We'll have at least 24 tickers to go through, guaranteed, a week from tonight. And we're going to go through the strongest stocks, the strongest sectors, and more importantly, give you both a sequence of both long and short triggers outside the current trading ranges to use after November 8th in your education and training. Okay, now we have Looks like kind of a bearish engulfment here, so we don't want to go long until it takes on new highs. Where would be the short trigger? Where would be the long trigger? The main focus that I want to have is kind of a long bias because I like to buy things. So if we have, for example, a move up like we did today in the uh, VXX, what are the plans for the inverse ETFs? Look at this as also kind of an update. Yeah, you've seen how popular my tradingshortetfs.com and tradingoilandgold.com courses have been, this will give you an update uh, with new triggers to use for the inverse ETFs that go up when the stock market sells off, like VXX went up today. My live room and swing scans members get this as well, but I want to give you strategic swing trading guidance on things to look for in the inverse ETFs. 
You know, if the market sells off, this will go up, right? If the market continues to rally, this will recover, the XIV, and it'll keep going up. So our VIX ETNs are one key area to focus on. Another is going to be specific oil sector plays, whether it's things like UWTI, or British Petroleum, or breakouts in the hot oil sector ETNs and equities. And also with our, uh, our gold plays, like Dust, kind of up today, right? Dust did a nice breakout today. That's the inverse gold miners ETN, and it ran up 39 to 43, a four-point runner today. Anyway, what's going to happen with oil and gold? And the whole point with the session that I want to give you is a very specific, well-defined game plan for not only the strongest charts to consider, but the strongest sectors and the strongest ETFs and the specific stocks uh, that make sense to look at that will be sensitive to the presidential election. Let me ask a quick question of all of you. What do you think? I'm curious, if I were, I used to teach MBA courses and corporate training and all that. If I were doing a live event with that as an introduction, I would say to everybody, turn to the trader next to you and discuss, but since we can't do that, since you're distributed all over the known world, uh, just individually, if you wish, type into the chat box, tell me which sectors do you think, or give, pick a sector do you think will be especially sensitive to the choice of president come November 8th, right? Because there's going to be there's sharp differences in market reactions depending on who gets elected. Now, you're going to see kind of like earnings release, uh, you kind of like the, how to say, you they, they buy things up in anticipation of and then they sell the news, right? So come election, that's why we've had a big run up in the healthcare sector lately uh, and the semiconductors and others. Uh, but on the results of the election, that may lead to the, a big sell-off and a big drop, which will surprise people who are not prepared, which is the big problem. I don't want you guys to be surprised by a huge drop in the markets or a huge relief rally in the markets. It catches you by surprise. The worst thing you can do as a trader is take big stops. The second worst thing is missing big runs, right? Thou shalt not take big stops. That's rule number one in trading, but only slightly or less important is thou shalt not miss big rallies or big sell-off opportunities because you know there's money to be made, there's money to be lost, and it's up to you to decide which way you want to be on, on it and your decision-making process. By working with me, at least I can train your mind to look at the charts intelligently and figure out which ones make sense to potentially trade uh, in reaction to the market move after the election. And that's good, honest, you know, what I, you know, if you're all personal friends, that's what I'd be telling your family members. Uh, that's the kind of thought process you, you want to take is kind of like that Chinese symbol, the uh, opportunity and danger have the same, you know, hiragana or katagana or whatever the, the sign is, uh, the symbol I forgot. My wife's from Japan. I used to date women from China too, but I forgot the name of the symbols uh, used in the Chinese alphabet. I don't think it's hiragana or katakana, which is from Japan. The point is the sign for uh, crisis and opportunity is the same in one of those cultures. And right now we're at a crossroads in the markets and we have crisis and opportunity ahead of us coming up in just a week and a half with the November 8th presidential election. So one of the things I think would be very helpful to you is to give some thought to how you may trade the reaction. Probably a smart idea to not trade November 9th or 10th, right? Let the market start to do its big thing. Uh, I'm not a big fan, by the way, of these, like these young kids are out there saying, trade penny stocks and let's trade 5,000 shares. And ooh, I got eight cents out of it. Ooh, I made a fortune. No, I think that's stupid. I think what's smarter is to trade consistently trending instruments that no matter where you get in over the course of a week or two or three, uh, you can odds are do well with these types of charts. If you get in on the right side of these charts, they can perform very well for you. Uh, as you're looking for sector rotation plays, right, which is one of my key things that I have not covered for anybody in any of my courses lately uh, since the stock trading success system and I had a sector course a few years ago, but I haven't done much in sectors for anybody Biotechs have been selling off lately, right? But we've seen a big move up in banking, in semiconductors. Where's the opportunity? And more importantly, how will you trade it after the elections? Let's see, I'm seeing, wow, all over the map here. Thanks, Bob Dana, Karen Wynn, Oron, Rod Norman, another Bob, Stan, Rick, Damon. Let's see, banking, pharma, bios, finance, defense, machinery for infrastructure like Caterpillar. Okay, thanks. Pharma. 
Defense and biotechs, biotech commodities, oil and gas energy, correct? Gold, gold oil, and uh, and also in the FX market, right? There'll be a big move uh, in uh, the currencies as well. Uh, but the main thing I want to focus on here is equities, and you're right. So we'll have moves in those sectors: banking, pharmaceuticals, biotechs, finance, defense. You know, if you're looking at defense and in industry, I used to work in aerospace and defense. I true story. I was the TQM coordinator for the plant in uh, Rockwell International Satellite and Space Electronics Division, SSNED, in uh, Seal Beach, where we built the GPS satellite that you may be familiar with, the geotracking satellite. I was the total quality management guy for the division there uh, where we built the satellites for that. So that's the A&D, or aerospace and defense industry, a major employer in Southern California. Uh, but I left there in 1991 uh, and have been out of California since then. So anyway, the point is, we're gonna see big moves in aerospace and defense and banking and pharma pharmaceuticals, biotechs, insurers. How do we make sense of all of it? Stop the madness, there's gotta be a better way. Well, unlike a shark, what I want you guys to do is uh, be good traders and figure out where the opportunities are. And uh, you, know, you wanna be wonderful in the markets and what you wanna do to facilitate that is have a plan of attack based on where the strongest sector rotation as well as individual equities are gonna move. All right, now if you take a look at, say for example, today's hot stocks at Western Digital, that was one of the ones we called long in the live room for our members this, uh, this morning, a VSM, which we didn't, Alcoa is up, ConocoPhillips and Suncor, energy and oil, right? We're strong today. How would you trade those following the, the election? Now. You can use what I'm gonna be teaching you for uh, intraday as well as swing trades. I wanna cover both, but the main coverage will be on swing trades because I wanna get us in collectively on the best of the long-term trenders that tend to run up consistently over, over time. And that's where my expertise is, is one of the industry's foremost breakout experts. And I wanna teach you what I know about breakouts in sectors as well as individual stocks and ETNs and ETFs and how to trade them and where it would make sense with to put your resistance and support levels in these charts and figure out a game plan that makes sense, okay? So let's take a look at some of the topics that we'll cover. Oil and gold stocks and ETFs, which sectors are likely to move, key support and resistance in the NAS and the S&P. One thing that's gonna be unique too is a hot list of which stocks and ETFs that I'll be looking to trade myself as well as just top picks for support resistance trigger prices uh, for longer term swings. One of the things that I wanna cover here is not only short term swings, but longer term swings, things that are likely to run or may have the potential to run, you know, at least say five or six or seven or eight weeks, you know, up to a month and a half or two, in addition to the quick one or two or three week round trips that we normally do with swing trades. After the big election occurs, we're likely to see extremely sustained big moves, maybe down in some sectors, long in other sectors. For example, if a certain candidate gets in, the healthcare sector may get a lot of institutional buying in anticipation of continued skyrocketing of rates and profits in that sector, so the healthcare stocks may be strong, and the insurance, the healthcare insurance stocks may be strong. How would you trade those? How would you profit from those, right? How would you potentially profit from those? And that's what I'll be covering is the, at least my picks for which charts make sense to keep on your hot list, plus specific trigger prices that you can follow as well to learn where good breakout triggers may occur. And not only the first entries, but for most of them, I'll have second chance entries and exits as well. So we have not only the initial entry, but if you miss it, a second entry, usually a couple, three, four points above the first entry. So that way you'll have a specific game plan with advanced techniques I'll be covering for you. Okay, I want you to map out your trading approach, not just for the end of the year, but into the first quarter of next year too. Okay, I'm not gonna be repeating this topic. This is a once only you know, offer to train you guys up on this because it's gonna be valid after the election uh, into the, you know, into the next two or three months. It's really important intel to get your hands on coming up in just a week from tonight, and I'm only offering it tonight, and the, or I should say I'm only offering it a week from tonight, and the deadline is November 2nd, because our event is a week from tonight, which is Thursday, November 3rd. That's the 
event night. I want to make sure everybody understands. We're holding the main event for an hour and a half a week from tonight. And you will get the HD high definition WMV video download included in case you can't make it. Or I'm sure you want to go back and refer to it over and over again and that kind of thing, especially throughout November so and early December. So you will get the downloadable video as well, uh, plus more. So, you know, and for all of you who've registered, I have sent your GoToWebinar. I've had GoToWebinar send you your welcome email, so you should have that. If you didn't get it, always just click on the Help tab, and that'll open up the Zendesk support ticket. Note, too, that I've changed the branding of Zendesk over to Trade Mastery. It used to be the, the older university site, but now it's Trade Mastery. So uh, anyway, we've got a lot to cover, you know, and I think the, the pain point is, you know, the problem area is, you know, if you don't have a plan, you're going to miss out or you may trade it incorrectly. Either, either one is a bad outcome. You know, I, what I want to do is have us put our heads together and I'll give you my thoughts and we can work together as a team. Uh, interactive. I'm always, you know, I'm always generous with my time. I'll stay around for, you know, up to a full hour after the event as well, answering questions. So it's a full hour and a half plus up to an hour of Q&A with all of you if you have specific questions, because I want us to get this right together as a team. And I'm dedicated to helping you make a sensible, focused trading approach. So anyway, back to the good news, bad news. The bad news, the problem is that, okay, you may say, okay, the guy's got something. I understand what he's talking about. I'm not sure exactly what that he means, but he sounds like I know what he's talking about, and it makes sense. I should be focused on sectors. I hadn't really thought about that. I'm kind of putting myself in all of your collective minds, right? Like a Vulcan mind meld. I'm, I'm reaching out there. I love science fiction. I'm a big fan of all things sci-fi. But anyway, the point is, you will forget, not on purpose, but our minds are much like a sieve or a, a net, right? Uh, you know, by this time tomorrow, you'll forget at least half of what I covered tonight. Uh, in three days, you'll probably forget you're even here. So at least the older I get, I'm 52 years old. I'll be 53 in January. How the heck did that happen? Uh, but anyway, you'll likely forget what we covered tonight. So that's kind of the bad news. The other uh, bad news is that the information without the tools is not particularly useful. I mean, you know, what I covered tonight is interesting. You got the awareness. You got the information. You know, you got a... You got up to speed on some of the, the core, I guess, the techniques and the things that we want to start looking at. But ultimately, what we want to do is have a specific game plan in place designed to help you capitalize on what the market's going to do. Okay. So we've covered a lot of territory, and you've got the awareness, you've got information, you've got opportunity that you didn't have, you know, 25 minutes ago, right? Uh, but you do need to figure out how to solve the problems. And, you know, like I say, the, the way that our minds work, and uh, thanks to Dan, uh, the way that our, our minds work is that you will forget things. Uh, and so, you know, what I want you to do is figure out a game plan where you've got tools that you are going to value that can be beneficial to help you succeed. You know, as you take a look at what you need to do as a trader, one of the things you need to do is have a specific game plan. So the good news, Happy Baby says, get your trading plan tools at presidentialprofits.com. And you can register for that. But I put together some fun PowerPoint slides for you guys to wake us up here on a Thursday night as we get ready to get into the weekend. Uh, but seriously, I want to give you very good actionable intel and actionable information that can help with a game plan that makes sense. So by tools, I mean the techniques that I'll be covering in the webinar event and the specific support and resistance trigger points and where to trade and how to trade these things. So I hope that you'll vote yes for me. Uh, don't vote for me for president. Uh, as, a, as joking with my family, you could do me as a write-in candidate for president, but I really don't want to be president of the United States. I don't want the hassle and the headache. I, I really would not be, I'm not a politician. I'm very blunt and direct. And so that doesn't go well with what you see from some candidates that are two-faced and they lie and all that kind of crap. That's what you see in politics, business as usual. Uh, not my cup of tea. I'm a straight shooter, and that, that won't get you anywhere in politics. you got to talk out of both sides of your mouth like a certain politi political candidate does. So anyway, the point is uh, you don't want uh, to elect – well, I don't know who you want to elect, but you don't want to elect yourself out of the market. So you do want to be able to at least figure out how to trade and capitalize on whoever the heck gets in there and figure out some sensible trading plan strategies and tips designed to help you capitalize on the moves in the market. Again, sectors and oil and gold are a really good place to start. 
And we're going to be covering how to do that in the event. So which sectors, like oil and gold, but also like y'all were mentioning, aerospace and defense, uh, energy. Um, I like ph pharmaceuticals, biotechs, retailers have been volatile, and the airline stocks too have been reasonably move, moving as well, right? If you take a look at some of these, you know, like Southwest, Southwest Airlines has been really volatile. American Airlines, also a nice big run up. We, for whatever reason, we've seen some strength in the airline sector and transports. So transports and utilities as defensive hedge plays, in addition to uh, commodity-based moves and things like oil and gold and energy sectors make sense. And so I think it'll serve you well if, you know, even if you don't register for the main event, that's fine. I'll still eat steak and lobster and live in a big 4,000 square foot McMansion. But uh, I hope that you will give some thought, some careful, intelligent thought to how to trade the market's reaction. And as you focus on raising your standards, I think that's an important concept. You always, you know, as a trader, if you're like me, you may have struggled through times where you reach progress, much like a breakout chart, and then you go into a plateau and you're not able to make more progress. You make some wins, you make some stops, you're kind of scratching it out like dog paddling in the water in the Titanic or something, and you're not really making a lot of headway or progress. The way to break through and achieve a new breakthrough above your current performance area is repetition and mastery and raising your personal standards of what types of charts and what type of thinking process you want to take into the markets. You know, you don't want to use a lot of squiggly line indicators to do your thinking for you. You know, the only major uh, squiggly line indicators I use are the 50, 100, and 200 institutional simple moving averages, and on occasion I'll use an ADX, and that's it. But the main thing you want to look at is price action. And so you want to raise your standards to trade the very finest charts with the strongest performance and make sure that as you develop a game plan to go after the markets, you know, average traders would be struggling because they're wondering what the heck to do with the S&P going sideways. Professional traders, we know, guys like me know, hey, we want to be on board with charts like this one or this one or other things that have good volatile runs and trade potential, right? Going from 30 to 45 or IGT like a slot machine that paid off, going from 21 to 28, seven-point runner on a $20 stock. You have to insist on trading stronger charts with tighter stops, and that's one of the things that I'll cover for you in our upcoming Presidential Profits event. So I look forward to seeing you all there. If you have any questions, feel free to shout out. If not, we're out. It's at presidentialprofits.com, and that redirects over to this Trade Mastery slash presidential profit site for you. Uh, I registered that just so that it's easy to remember and type in. But anyway, I want to give you some good, honest, step-by-step -step strategies. And you know what you don't want to do is trade it alone. What you don't want to do is sit there on the sidelines and wonder, and scratch your head and say, well, gee, I wonder what Ken was teaching all of his smart traders who signed up for presidential profits because he knows what he's talking about. And he actually likely picked some good charts like he normally does. Uh, and you're off there by yourself, by your lonesome in the corner, having to explain to your spouse why you lost so much money trading because you're trading the wrong instruments the wrong way. Don't be that guy or that lady, right? Don't be that person. Instead, arm yourself or equip yourself with good professional grade training strategies that you can use as the basis for your own personal trading plan to help you identify you know, strategies that may make sense, that may be a benefit to you and help you make the most of. Whoever gets in the White House, like I say, I'm not a I'm kind of pes I'm deeply pessimistic about the future of the country. So I want to make money trading in spite of Washington, in spite of morons in the political offices and all that kind of stuff. I want to trade intelligently. And the way to do that is to look at institutional money flow in anticipation and in reaction to the election. And that's what I, I'm going to specialize in for y'all a week from tonight. So I hope I've earned your vote and I start to see the orders coming in. So thanks to those who are starting to order now. I appreciate that. Uh, Go ahead and place your place your bet. Go ahead and uh, put your order in. It's only 97 bucks, so it's cheap. It's under 100 bucks, right? So it's it's nothing. It's like less than the cost of a tiny stop or a couple of dinners or something. So it's really cheap compared to my normal rates for my premium events. And, you know, I'm a top industry money show speaker, stocks and commodities author, and all the rest of it. So I'm an expert. And I actually really prove I trade, too. So anyway, I hope that that gives you some clarity and answers some questions you may have had about the Presidential Profits event coming up in a week from tonight. So anyway, I wanted to say thanks so much to, to all of you for ordering. 
and I will see you in the event coming up a week from tonight. It's an hour and a half, and again, I don't do hit and run trading. I will stick around and thoughtfully answer all questions at the end of that event, at least for a full hour. Sometimes traders have kept me around up to 45 minutes or an hour after one of my premium events, kind of picking my brain. I welcome that. I welcome smart questions that I can clarify any questions that you might have or give you some tips and some insights, at least from my own real trading experience, on how to avoid false breakouts using these strategies, how to capitalize on sector and strong instrument moves as they emerge and the rest of it. So anyway, I wanted to thank you on behalf of uh, myself and my professional colleagues and family. It's great to see all of you here. Thanks so much for registering your spot now for presidentialprofits.com. I'll see you there. I'll say a question from Donna. Will the recording be complete as the live session? Yes, the entire live session will be recorded in high resolution video as tonight's event is, and you'll get the WMV video uh, after the uh, session as well. So you get the entire thing. If it runs like two hours or two and a half hours, I'll likely break it in two. So it's not like a 500 megabyte download, probably two 200 megabyte downloads. But uh, yeah, you will get the entire event captured on video. And I know that's important because a lot of people are either on the go or, you know, to be honest, like me, I'm not the world's most patient person. So, you know, my attention span isn't as exceptionally long. I would like to download the video and kind of click through it and pick out the, the nuggets. And you're welcome to do that too. I, I, I know if you're like me, uh, you don't really want to sit there. I mean, if you want to sit through the whole thing, that's great. And I know a lot of you do. 60% will watch the whole thing. The other 40% are downloaders and that's fine too. I know that you know who you are, and I'm one of you. I I will seldom uh, sit through an hour long anything, but I will download eagerly the video and consume it a few minutes here and there at a time and kind of skim scan and click through it and get the high points. And you will get the notes in PDF format as well from the, the PowerPoint slides and the main bullet points and the instruments and all that kind of stuff is also provided. So it's a bargain. It's much less than I normally have charged historically, but we got so many new traders on board here too. I thought I'd make it a, a friendly price point that makes sense. And so anyway, I wanted to thank y'all for being here. Hey, look forward to it too. Good to see you, Damon. And Karen and Gary and everyone else. So thanks all. I will see you in our main event. Take care and good night.